What's going on, great people? Terrell Harris here. Today's question of the day comes from Twitter, and it is, what do you do when you're feeling stuck and confused? First things first, I don't want to over-spiritualize this. I don't want to assume that you haven't been praying or anything like that. So I'll give you some of the practical things that I do uh, when I'm actually feeling stuck. So for me, the first thing I, I'm sure to do is surround myself with individuals who can speak life into my situation. I surround myself with individuals who are positive and I surround myself with individuals who could actually give me some advice and some pointers to particular things. Somebody who may, may have gone through my experience and have made it out on the other side. Um, so for instance, if you surround yourself with individuals who are stuck, chances are you and those individuals will have a tough time getting out of your situation. So you don't wanna surround yourself with anyone who is actually in the same mindset. You wanna surround yourself who has made it out of a situation of feeling stuck and confused. Um, and this individual would, would be able to give you some hope and some encouragement. Um, the second thing you wanna do is switch up your routine. So um, sometimes we, we get bogged down with the monotonous or the monotony of going to, monotonous activities or the monotony of going to school, going to work, coming home, watching TV, doing work, then we get up and do the same thing every single day. Uh, when we do the same things every single day, um, sometimes that puts us in a box and that puts our mindset in a place to where we actually can't think or see anything different. So as it relates to doing things different, you have to be aware of some of the things that give you energy, some of the things that actually uh, you enjoy. I would say write a list. You know, I have a list of things that give me energy, whether it's uh, playing sports, whether it's running, whether it's exercising, re whether it's reading, whether it's, you know, going out to eat. And when I get in these mindsets where I feel stuck or confused, I'm sure to, or I, I'm sure I'm, I make myself have fun by actually looking at these lists and picking out a few um, items off the, off the list to actually do. Um, man, the sun is extremely bright. <laughs> The last thing you wanna do is come up with a plan of action. So I'm not sure if you're feeling stuck or confused about your career, about your future, but what you wanna do is map out things that you wanna accomplish. You wanna map out where you wanna go. And then you're gonna, you wanna map out also some of the things that's gonna prevent you from reaching that goal. So when you have a clear plan of action of where you wanna go or what you wanna do, um, it'll be a little bit easier to get to the destination with what where you're trying to reach so i'm not saying that having a plan will actually make you or prevent situations from where you're stuck and confused but ultimately uh when you have a vision or when you have a map of where you're going it'll be a little bit easier to overcome those situations because when you list out what you're doing and some of the obstacles you'll be aware of some of the things that may be coming your way prior to coming your way so um you know, if you're trying to achieve success in, in your school or trying to, you know, um, get certain grades or if you're trying to start a business or if you're trying to, you know, be successful at your job. Um, if you understand the the things that are going to prevent you from doing that, if you understand, per se, the stumbling blocks, you'll be able to, to you'll be able to leap over some of those things as they come. So be sure to have a plan of action. So those are three things you could do to be sure that you know you won't be stuck and confused or to actually make it out of out of those situations those three things are surrounding yourself with people who are positive surrounding yourself with people who are who are aren't stuck and confused um, be sure to have fun you know map out the things that actually you know give you joy and then finally have a plan of action for what you are going to do or what you're trying to accomplish so that is it I hope and pray that this is helpful and then I also Pray that you know God will give you insight into some of the things that are going on that, that are going on in your life, and I pray that you know God also actually gives you clarity. So that is it. Once again, my name is Terrell Harris. You can visit theopenbox.com for more messages like this. If you're on Facebook, be sure to like the page, reshare the message. If you're on Twitter, be sure to retweet the message as well. Peace and blessings. That's it.